Bangladesh is one of the most densely populated countries in the world, and its landmass is divided by several immense rivers. The Jamuna and Ganges streams split the country down the middle to form the enormous Padma River, which eventually flows into the Ganges Delta on the south coast. Bangladeshis have two main delicacies, rice and fish, and both form an invaluable part of the country's economy. I'm here to see how the harvesting of fish differs between the north and the south, either side of the Padma River. My journey starts in the northern farmland in the Maimansingh district, some 120 kilometers from the country's capital, Dhaka. And already, I feel right at home with Bangladesh's favorite sport, cricket. That was not meant to happen. Time to visit one of the district's many fish farms built in a series of repurposed rice paddies. So this is Bai Bai Fish Farm in the Dola region. And this is Mr. Button. Mr. Button. Mr. Button, nice to meet you. I'm Kieran. Established in the early 1990s, Mr. Batan's business is on an industrial scale when compared to the surrounding homesteads. Catfish, huh? Catfish. Yeah, I mean, catfish is a great, great fish. It yields a lot of meat. Very kind of fatty, very nutritious. They're quite big, these fish. You'll see when one comes out. <laughs> Got one. He wasn't expecting that. He was watching him. Good work. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> These fish are incredible. They can stay out of the water for such a long time. Yeah, yeah, chill out, chill out. Yeah, yeah, you'll go back in the water just now. Um, I don't know what they taste like. I imagine they're, they're very good. And you can see this one's pretty full of eggs. Eggs, isn't it? Yeah. And she's going to lay pretty soon. So I just put her in and stop stressing her out. Elsewhere, in the hatchery, are tens of thousands of baby tilapia. Over here are all the little fish eggs. These have not hatched. So basically it's three days worth of growth after which they get transferred out of here. And moved to one of eight huge ponds that can support an astounding 80 million fish. Where they're kept for a total of 28 days after which they're sold as fingerlings and distributed all over Bangladesh. Now this is called monosex aquaculture. So you have one sex of fish. And that is done by putting special hormones into the water after the fish hatch. The single sex farming makes it easier to control the breeding of the fingerlings as well as limit their overfeeding. All tilapia. So this is a massive operation. Absolutely staggering how big it is. Mr. Barton, you were given an award by the Prime Minister, weren't mm, you? Prime Minister. What was your award for? Gold medal. Gold medal. Huh. So basically, Mr. Button was given a gold medal award for the best monosex tilapia, the best quality of monosex tilapia in the whole of Bangladesh. So, I mean, you know, you're looking at the pedigree here. After 28 days, the fingerlings are weighed at 10 grams each and sold per kilo for the equivalent of two US dollars. These are distributed across the country in two different ways. This is sort of the more commercial way of transporting the fish. They get put into these plastic bags, and then these guys over here, as you can see, fill it with compressed air, tie it, so the fish have enough oxygen to get to where their destination is. The other way is to strap two 20-kilogram pots filled with babies and water and carry them very carefully over your shoulder. This takes an incredible amount of skill. If you lose your cargo, you've lost all your money. Flipping neck. Oh my goodness, you've got to have shoulders of steel to do that. It's tough, huh? I mean, you've got to remember you've got live cargo in there, you know? I have no idea how they would do this over the distances that they have to. That's incredible. And the way of transporting with this very rudimentary system 
is on a train. Literally on a train. Thank you very much. Which, for reasons I may regret, will be my chosen method of transport to Dakar in the morning.